we would get hundreds of emails every week saying, please help this animal, this cat, this dog. And every week we would see the same little face on there. And it was actually this cat that they had named Dab. And he would show up every week on there for at least a month. And he was FIV positive. And at the time we had four or five FIV positive cats already. So we kind of had to say, hold on, we can't take another until at least one gets adopted because there was a lot in there. Finally, we did have a couple of great adoptions. And so we said, yes, I'm gonna go grab him. Like, we're gonna do this. It's so exciting. He was so cute. And the email came and he wasn't on it. And we said, okay, you know, let's reach out. Maybe he's on there. Maybe someone else adopted him or pulled him. And they emailed back saying he's set to be euthanized the next day. So we said, of course not. We will take this cat immediately. Um, and he came in that, that weekend and we said, your name is not Dab. It's, it's not. So I named him Freddie Perkery. And we put him up for adoption because why wouldn't you? An adorable cat named Freddie Perkery. And we waited. And days went by, weeks went by, months went by. Everyone but him and four other cats got adopted. And we're sitting there like, how? How is this sweet little cat there? And so we ended up doing funny things. We brought him on a leash to the shelter. We did social media blasts. We did fashion show Fridays with Freddie, where we dressed him up every Friday to find him a home. He actually ended up going on to WGN uh, with a puppy. And he was on a leash there with two of our workers. And he killed it, of course. But of course, that day we got 10 phone calls for the puppy, but none for Freddie. And then finally, my mom was actually going out of town. And so I said, you know what? I want to bring home a cat who has been here for a long time, who needs some time to de-stress and get out of here, and who I probably won't get attached to because isn't super affectionate. They're very sweet here, but doesn't sit on your lap or love or anything like that. And so I had my mindset on Freddie, so I ended up bringing him home. I brought him home on a Sunday and I actually ended up losing my aunt who was very close to me and I didn't have anyone with me and I was obviously really upset and this little stinking cat, he came up to me and he just laid right here. He has never shown affection like this and he became from that moment, he became like this little therapy blanket of a cat and whenever I was sad he would come over sit on me, love on me. And I'm sitting there looking at him like, how am I supposed to bring you back to the shelter? And she came back from her trip and she said, I've seen how much, not that he needs us, but she's like, I've seen how much you need him. And she's like, I can't take that away from you. So we ended up adopting him actually on my dog's birthday. So it kind of came full circle. And it just makes me think this little cat who is set to be euthanized has become such a comfort and he has become such a comfort and joy to everyone he meets. He's just brought so much love that I never thought I could have since I lost my dog. And I'm very lucky that Hensil he meets society gave me my best friend. <laughs>